dimensional. And Ardross has won the Goodwood Cup from Donegal. Here's the wire. Head bombing finish. Royal Academy. And that away. Rafissimo on the inside. The minstrel starts a little bit slowly as the back marker. And it's Rafissimo on the inside of Crystal Palace and Mart Lane. Mart Lane going on now from Crystal Palace and Rafissimo. Then comes Lucky Wednesday. Then Acceler on the inside of Trainer Seat and then Orange Bay. Then comes Bruni on the inside. And now Norfolk Air has been relegated to last place. And it's Mart Lane from Rafissimo and Crystal Palace and Lucky Wednesday. Then Acceler. Then Trainer Seat and Orange Bay. Bruni on the inside. The minstrel. And the back marker is Norfolk Air as they run down now into Swinley Bottom. Mart Lane from Lucky Wednesday and Rafissimo and Crystal Palace and Trainer's Seat. Acceler on the inside. Then comes Orange Bay. Just in behind Orange Bay, the minstrel who's made a little bit of progress. Bruni's on the inside. Crow's on the outside of the minstrel. And Norfolk Air's the back marker. And now they're just coming up towards the seven furlong pole in the King George of the Six and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. And it's Mart Lane in the lead from Lucky Wednesday and Rafissimo and Trainer's Seat and then comes Crystal Palace then Orange Bay and Excella then Crow on the outside of Bruni then comes the Minstrel and last is Norfolk Air past the six marker now and Mark Lane taking him along at a tremendous pace from Lucky Wednesday in second Orange Bay is now going third Trainer's Seat is four five is Rafissimo six Crystal Palace then comes Bruni and Crow and then Excella then the Minstrel and Norfolk Air is last and they're passing the five marker now and it's still Mark Lane for Ireland from Lucky Wednesday in second third is Orange Bay then comes Rafissimo and Trainer's Seat then Bruni and Crystal Palace and Excella and the Minstrel making progress Crow is now the one of the back markers with Norfolk Air and they've just got three and a half furlongs to run now they're racing towards the home turn and it's still Mark Lane and Edward Hyde from Lucky Wednesday in second Orange Bay then comes Bruni behind Bruni is Trainer's Seat then the Minstrel making ground with Crystal Palace two and a half furlongs to run in the King George the Six and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes and it's Mark Lane being pressed by Orange Bay here comes the Minstrel unleashing a run towards the right of the picture with Bruni upsides then Crystal Palace and Excella behind him they're racing towards the foul on pole now and it's Orange Bay who strikes the front. It's Orange Bay now from the Minstrel Excella putting in a great run towards the stand side. It's Orange Bay being tackled by the Minstrel and Excella and as they race into the closing stages it's the Minstrel from Orange Bay and Excella racing up towards the line. The Minstrel from Orange Bay and Excella and as they come to the line the Minstrel with the Minstrel, the Minstrel, looking for a quick start on uh, Donegal. Looks as though they're going to go. Yeah. First time, and they're away, and Donegal Prince, the first to show from Monsbow. And then Ardras, Halsbury, the only three-year-old, double Florian, and uh, Popsy's Joy. So they settle down with Donegal Prince in the lead from Monsbow. Ardras, Halsbury, double Florian, and Popsy's Joy. As to Piggott, lying third there on this big odds-on favourite who's bigger odds on than any favourite for the Goodwood Cup in the 35 runnings that there have been so far since the war. 13 odds on winners and 6 odds on losers in that period. And defeat for this horse is lying third now. Ardras would represent the biggest shock since Arbar was beaten as a 3-1 on favourite back in 1948 by Tenerani. O'Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, the former Ascot Stakes winner. Ardross third, Halsbury the three-year-old, then double Florin, and then Popsy's Joy. Grebel Starkey looking for his third winner of the meeting to put him the leader in the Ritz Club Charity Trophy with the clear advantage on Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, young Walter Swinburne, tracked by Lester Piggott and Greville Starkey showing that he's turning right very shortly. A rather typical gesture of the ever playful Greville. Looks extremely solemn and graven imaged most of the time, but is in fact uh, a very playful and entertaining lad. Enjoying a tremendous season, with 59 winners. And Lester Piggott, looking for his 99th Goodwood Festival winner here. 
So it's Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, Ardross, Halsbury, Double Florin, and Popsy's Joy. As they're right over the very far side of the course now in this two mile, five furlongs Goodwood Cup. Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, Ardross, last year's runner up, Halsbury, Double Florin, and Popsy's Joy. Popsy's in last place, an old ally of Leicester Pickett's, but uh, generally in handicap company as opposed to this open competition. In one of the premier stamina tests in England during the year, Donegal Prince from Monsbow, Ardross, Halsbury, Double Florin, and Popsy's Joy, who's always held up for a late challenge. Ardross proving a little on the inside at this point. Donegal Prince, Ardross and Monsbow, then Halsbury, Double Florin, and Popsy's Joy. Breasting this rise, Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, Ardross quite close, and then Double Florin on the outside of Halsbury and Popsy's Joy. And not a lot between these sextet now as they begin the run down hill towards the half mile pole in the Goodwood Cup. Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, Ardross, Double Florin, Halsbury and Popsy's Joy and just coming to the four furlong marker now Donegal Prince from Mons Bow, Ardross, Popsy's Joy coming there quite strongly now towards the outside of Paul Cook as they come down towards the three furlong marker Halsbury improving over on the far rail and uh, Ardross coming between Halsbury and Donegal Prince. Mons Bow, Popsy's Joy on the far side. Double Florin not out of it, but Lester Pickett holding a double handful as they race past the two furlong pole. And it's Ardross on the far side. Popsy's Joy on the near side between horses Donegal Prince, but Ardross is quickening. And it's Ardross, Lester Pickett as they enter the final furlong now from Donegal Prince and Popsy's Joy racing into the closing stages. And Ardross winning very cheekily indeed from Donegal Prince in second and Ardross has won the Goodwood Cup from Donegal Prince Halsbury's third and four Popsy's Joy five double Florin and six and last was Mons Bow and so the result of the 1981 Goodwood Cup first number one Ardross owned by Mr. Charles and George trained by Henry Cecil and written by Lester Piggott to pay and they're off in the Breeders' Cup mile, and Shotgun Scott is away quickly. Expensive decision is right there with him, and those two duel early. Lady Winner with good early speed is angled over quickly to the inside. Go Dutch on the outside, fourth. Steinland is up close to the early pace. He's now fifth. Mark of distinctions taken under a hard hold. He was steadied in behind Lady Winner. On the outside, beginning to move up now. That's It's all Greek to me. He's about six lengths off the lead. Mark of distinction is now pinned down on the inside. Colway rally with clear running moving up. Long shot great. Normandy's about nine lengths off the lead. Royal Academy with clear running on the far outside. And down inside, who's to pay? Nine lengths from the pacemakers. Priolo is second to last. Jalajo trails the field. Expensive decision. And Shotgun Scott, those two moving together. The quarter went in a sharp 22 and three fifth seconds as the field enters the far turn. A grueling half mile here of 45 and four. And it's expensive decision now who shakes loose from Shotgun Scott. Go Dutch. It's all Greek to me is now coming with his sharp rally on the outside. Steinland has now faded to fifth. On the outside, Mark of Distinction has clear running now, and here comes Mark of Distinction with his run for the lead. Lady Winner is in behind a phalanx of horses with nowhere to go. Royal Academy and Lester Pickett are six lengths off the lead, but they're launching their rally now as they come down to the final furlong. It's all Greek to me as a short lead, expensive decision, battling back, Mark of Distinction. Royal Academy is thundering down the center of the turf course, and Steinland is fifth. They're coming down to the finish. Lester Pickett flailing away at Royal Academy. It's all Greek to me toward the inside here's the wire head bobbing finish royal academy does it and the living legend out of retirement 54 year old lester piggott pulls off the upset here